Hello and welcome to our channel in this video we are counting down on best street gang films ever existed not to be missed by anyone those who love street gang films must give it a try and leave a comment below about how many films you have already seen from this list or intent to see now let's get started. 10 The Outsiders 1983 Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, a teen gang in rural Oklahoma, the Greasers are perpetually at odds with the Socials, a rival group. When Greasers Pony Boy, C. Thomas Howell, and Johnny, Ralph Macchio, get into a brawl that ends in the death of a social member, the boys are forced to go into hiding. Soon Pony Boy and Johnny, along with the intense Dallas, Matt Dillon, and their other Greaser buddies, must contend with the consequences of their violent lives. 9 American Me 1992, directed by Edward James Olmos. As a young man, Montoya Santana, Edward James Olmos, is introduced to gang life on the tough streets of Los Angeles after spending his youth in reform school. Soon Santana finds himself facing an 18-year prison sentence. In jail, he works his way to the top of the institution's violent drug trade, but, on his release from prison, he opts for a redemptive, family-centered lifestyle. However, his gangster friends, Pepe Serna, William Forsyth, try to force him back into illegal activities. 8 The Wanderers 1979 Directed by Philip Kaufman The Wanderers are an Italian-American gang vying for respect on the streets of the Bronx in 1963. Between rumbles with rivals such as the Ducky Boys and the Fordham Baldies, the group of toughs learn some difficult lessons about life and love. Leader Richie Gennaro, Ken Wall, finds himself entangled with Despi Galasso, Tony Calum, the daughter of a mobster, while the artistically inclined Joey, John Friedrich, falls hard for Nina, Karen Allen. 7 Green Street 2005 Directed by Lexi Alexander American journalism student Matt Buckner, Elijah Wood, moves in with his sister and her family in London. There, he meets football hooligan Pete Dunham, Charlie Hunnam, who introduces him to his rough tribal world, where supporters of opposing teams battle each other before and after games. But Pete's lieutenant, Bover, Leo Gregory, suspects Matt's motives and inadvertently reopens a years-old rivalry between Pete's brother, Mark Warren, and the leader of a rival gang, Jeff Bell. 6 The Warriors 1979 Directed by Walter Hill a battle of gigantic proportions is looming in the neon underground of New York City prominent gang leader Cyrus calls a meeting of New York's gangs to set aside their turf wars and take over the city. At the meeting, a rival leader kills Cyrus, but a Coney Island gang called the Warriors is wrongly blamed for Cyrus' death. Before you know it, the cops and every gangbanger in town is hot on the Warriors' trail. The armies of the night number 100,000, they outnumber the police 5 to 1, and tonight they're after the Warriors. 5 This Is England 2006 Directed by Shane Meadows Set in 1983, against the aftermath of the Falklands War, the film introduces us to 11-year-old Sean Thomas Turgus, whose soldier father was killed in the conflict. Living with his mother and trying to deal with his grief and loss, Sean has become an angry youngster, quick to use his fists when teased by schoolmates who taunt, bully and pick fights with him. It is not long before he falls in with a gang of older boys and girls. They act as a kind of surrogate family and protect him from being picked on. There's really nothing to worry about here. For Boys and the Hood 1991. Directed by John Singleton. Trey, Cuba Gooding Jr., is sent to live with his father, Furious Styles, Larry Fishburne, in tough South Central Los Angeles. Although his hard-nosed father instills proper values and respect in him, and his devout girlfriend Brandy, Nia Long, teaches him about faith, Trey's friends Doughboy, Ice Cube, and Ricky, Morris Chestnut, don't have the same kind of support and are drawn into the neighborhood's booming drug and gang culture, with increasingly tragic results. 3 Blood in Blood Out 1993 Directed by Taylor Hackford Based on the true life experiences of poet Jimmy Santiago Baca, the film focuses on half-brothers Paco and Cruz, and their biracial cousin Miklo. It opens in 1972, as the three are members of an East LA gang known as the Bavados Locos, and the story focuses on how a violent crime and the influence of narcotics alter their lives. Miklo is incarcerated and sent to San Quentin, where he makes a home for himself. 
Cruz becomes an exceptional artist, but a heroin addiction overcomes him with tragic results. Paco becomes a cop and an enemy to his carnal Miklo. 2 American History X 1998 Directed by Tony Kay, living a life marked by violence and racism, neo-Nazi Derek Vineyard, Edward Norton, finally goes to prison after killing two black youths who tried to steal his car. Upon his release, Derek vows to change his ways, he hopes to prevent his younger brother, Danny, Edward Furlong, who idolizes Derek, from following in his footsteps. As he struggles with his own deeply ingrained prejudices and watches their mother grow sicker, Derek wonders if his family can overcome a lifetime of hate. One City of God 2002 Directed by Fernando Meirelles and Katia Lund In the poverty-stricken favelas of Rio de Janeiro in the 1970s, two young men choose different paths Rocket, Felipe Hogginson, is a budding photographer who documents the increasing drug-related violence of his neighborhood. Jose, Zay, Pequeño, Douglas Silva is an ambitious drug dealer who uses Rocket in his photos as a way to increase his fame as a turf war erupts with his rival, knockout Ned, Leandro Fermino de Ora. The film was shot on location in Rio's poorest neighborhoods. So that was the list guys hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching Best Street Gang Films Countdown for more updates make sure you subscribe to our channel the handle is right in front of you.